Right, I'll have a go with this one next. This is the newer one key one. Battery connector works fine. That's a problem with the slap on the battery. Now, this is where I don't like Milwaukee's. This is the this is the common problem. Eventually, hard to see that. See the wear? That's from your battery sliding on. That's the actual pickup point where they're making contact. You turn it this way. Very difficult to see this. You can actually see them battery terminals are connecting with that retainer. See just here, this one. That's all you're getting. Just that top corner really. And once that burns away and it's like it's just that there, that's your tool stopped. And of course this part here is part of the controller. So you can't just replace that on its own. That's all to do with the slap and the battery. So once that thing's rattling and jumping about, eventually it wears out the plastic. And they start moving around. Now if you look at the bars, the Dewalt, the Makitas, even the Koki. Well, I think they're Koki anyway. There's a bit of steel reinforcing down on here. We steel plate to stop this actually wearing away the plastic. This Milwaukee is nothing. The Makita, the whole base, this whole section here, is actually separate. And it rotates itself. So instead of the battery burning out the contacts, the whole thing just slides around itself. This is one of the things I don't like about Milwaukee stuff. How do you repair that without replacing the entire motor? Can't really. And I'll try soldering on the last, like I did the last time. But we, like I'll strap onto this here, see if it helps. Right, just trying to do Let's give you a piece of nickel strip like that there. I'm just using an old scrap battery here. So a bit of this here. Nickel strip of the bad batteries that I'm using. You want to cut a wee wedge shaped like that. And just hammer it flat. Put a wee like a piece of filler gauge onto that there and hammer it to get it to the right gap. Hook that over the contact and then solder this on. That is what you should be left with. Now, this pin's a wee bit thicker than the rest now. That pin's not as worn, but it's not as worn. Now, if I put one onto that one, it's going to be too thick. So, we're going to do this one for at the minute. Battery still flapping about, but I can't do anything with that there. But she's fixed anyway. <laughs> 